What's up everyone? My name is Mike Will, AM.Visuals. Welcome to this week's video. We're here in Venice. This is the Venice sign. And we're doing a POV shooting on the 50 1.2 lens. Now this lens is insane. I got given it by Sony for a music festival I was shooting in Vegas, which was absolutely nuts. And I was blown away by this lens. So I thought, you know what? I'm here in Venice. Let's do a little street POV. And I'll give you guys some of my thoughts about the lens and what I thought of it at the festival, but also what I think of it for street. So let's get straight into it. Venice POV shooting with a 50 mil 1.2 lens. So I'm going to attempt to shoot most of this at 1.2. It's still pretty bright out. I don't have an ND filter, um, but one of my favorite things from the festival actually was being able to create insane depth, like straight away. So right now I've got this frame, we've got this pillar, the Venice sign is here. And uh, what I quite like, I can just frame that quite nicely. And it has just like, yeah, it just has really nice depth. And I was doing that in the festival. I was doing it with people, with the DJs, and then you could just go into the crowd. So that's pretty cool. Let's get one of these guys. Boy. That's sick. Awesome. I've also lost my voice. It was a pretty hectic few days. Well, I say few days, it was mad. I've done a few TikToks, so check those out um, if you haven't on my TikTok page about how mental EDC was. He pulled up, he pulled up the, uh, the curtain, he had, oh, skaters. We'll definitely head to the skate park as well in a little bit. Um, just work on this. All right, let's head down here, the basketball court, and then we'll loop round and come back to the, to the skate park at the end. But yeah, so thoughts on this initially, when I had it, I was like, I don't really shoot on 50. Why would I want a 50? And then I just had it at 1.2 and I was like, oh my God. And you did, the background just literally disappears. It's just so creamy and yeah, it's just remarkable what you can uh, what you can do with this. I absolutely loved it. It is quite big. As you can see, it's not like a small little nifty 50 you're chucking on. This is like a piece of work. Uh, it's got a click wheel. So you've got options obviously there. You've got your normal AF, MF, which is what standard now with the same lenses. Um, and a custom button here, which I never use. And it's a 72 thread. So if you have ND filters at 72, then great. I don't have any, so I didn't really have that option, but let's go to the basketball court here and see if we can get a couple of, a couple of shots. Cool, these boys are playing. I'd imagine it's gonna even create some depth. Boy, I'll shoot, I might shoot away from the sun here. My shadow's gonna be in it, but we'll have to just deal with it. The only thing is when you miss focus, it's quite obvious when you miss focus. I didn't miss then, but I missed a few times in the festival and it was like, oh yeah, that's, that's off. It's quite a cool frame, bosh. Oh, didn't go in, but that's cool. All right, let's continue. So we've got you down here. This is the Muscle Beach of Venice. I don't know if we went in working out. It might not be open due to COVID. Nah, it looks pretty closed, that's a shame. But Muscle Beach, obviously very famous. Now we've got some guys doing some, what's it called? Cal calisthenics? Oh, this guy's here though. He's got, we've got a Superman. Let's see if we can get something at least with the, the Muscle Beach. It's tough on a 50. Let's use this. Okay, there we go. And Superman is here. Oh. I just pulled forward just to use that as like a a bit of foreground just as like a leading line these guys are killing it so one thing about having a wire fence and then obviously sometimes you can see through it but it's shooting at 1.2 you get really close you're not even going to be able to see it so i'm super close you won't be able to see it so when she then goes and hits it you can't even see the uh can't even see it oh uh, jeez 
Oh, that looks like shooting through this fence. Oh, that is nice. The shadows. It's pretty cool. Right, let's head back towards the skate park. And we'll see if we've got any other people. This guy's coming towards us on his bike. I'm gonna try and use, I just use tap focus though. I wanna try and just use the uh, the autofocus when it picks up. I'll put a couple of the shots in the festival that I got when it just clings onto the eye, even in low light with movement. I mean, in low light, this is just insane. So this is the first time I've shot with it in the day. So again, a little bit different, but I wanna just test it out. Superman's still here. Let's get a little high vantage point now. I'm going to use tap focus because it wasn't sure what to focus on. That's cool. It's quite windy, I hope you guys can hear me. Oh, this guy's cool. Jeez, love it. Okay, let's have a little uh, play with this frame. We just need some people to come towards us. Here we go. Oh, so that's cool. It's quite like the leading line, like there's like this really nice S. I think if I was on a wider lens, it would be cooler because I could then get the, the palm trees in as well. Obviously being on a 50, I'm kind of limited, but I also don't mind that. It's just a bit different. That's the part on it there. Let's check that out. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, sweet. And even far away, it still picks up focus pretty well. Like even if you're quite far away, you can still do a decent job. Okay, he's got some roller skaters. Let's start off with some, some moving portraits. Here, oh yeah, that's kind of cool. That needs to fuck off. She looks cool. Do you mind if I get a portrait? Is that okay? I love your look, you look awesome. Yeah, I did. That's so cool. That's good. I mean, whatever you would like, I'll probably use the light and just the palm trees and yeah, amazing. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank Amazing, you. thank you. Oh, these guys are cool, so they're like doing a... So this is the skate park, which I did a POV previously at with a few different lenses. I think I was mainly shooting on the 24 to 70, um, but now I'm gonna bring this bad boy. So yeah, I mean, I hope you guys so far have seen some of the kind of crazy depth that you can create with it. Um, and at night, I mean, we're not going to shoot this at night right now, but at night, it's just like next level. Next What's good? Level, next level. Next level shit. Next level yeah, shit. Me and the man them, yeah? He knows it. Shit, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> nice one, brother. Yeah, yeah, nice one, brother. Good to meet you. What was your name? Nick. Nick. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Mike. Mike right, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice guy. That was it. That was it. That was it. <laughs> okay, let's try and get. If he does that again, I'll be ready. Nice. Sick. Oh, that's awesome. I think I've way underexposed it, but that's awesome. And then talk to people about what I'm shooting, what I'm doing, and then they can then watch it and see what's going on. Yeah, so okay. I'm just like reviewing this lens. So I'm just doing like a little PAV about what I think about the lens. And then, so I was shooting around, shooting just some street stuff, and then finishing off here. Thank you. See you, nice to meet you. Okay, if I use these two skaters here, it's quite a nice frame with the if someone goes hopefully someone will come through here we go ready three two one there he is i got a good one yeah maybe you send it to me yeah man hey that looks hard what was your name 
Carlos. Carlos. Yeah. Mike. Mike, nice, nice to meet you. Man. Nice one. Uh, nice Good to meet you. you. See you, bro. Oh, it's windy. Look at that guy down there. He's doing some madness. So I'm going to try and basically I'm going to feed in. As he's coming down, I'm going to try and focus on him and then pull down. So then as it's coming in, hopefully he'll be in focus because that time it didn't quite focus. So he's coming down, I'm on him, focused. Oh, yeah, that was naughty. Oh, that's clean, that's sick. Jeez. That's the end of this week's video shooting on the 50mm 1.2 lens. Now, I absolutely love this, and I'm sure you can see by the results. Uh, this may well be in my camera bag in the middle of this year's What's In My Camera Bag Summer 2022. We'll have to see if I can pick one up. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Any questions, let me know in the comments. Big up for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one very soon.